I've been writing a lot about climate change and hurricanes because there's been a lot of misinformation out there. What you're seeing here is land falling hurricanes. This is data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. You can see that when you look at land falling hurricanes since 1900, there is no increase. And in fact, there's been a slight decline. Why do we look at land falling hurricanes? A big part of the reason is that we could not reliably detect ocean based hurricanes in the past. We can now with satellites, but we could not reliably in the past. On the right, you can see major hurricanes. Those are defined as category three, four, and five hurricanes, also a slight decline. You can also see that there's been no increase in the cost of hurricane damage over the last 120 years. You can see Miami Beach much more developed today than it was in the past. So when a hurricane hits, it is going to cause more damage. But when you account for the increased wealth, it's not because we think the hurricane is any stronger. It's because there's just more wealth in harm's way. What about these two graphs? It's not so much the graph on the left is wrong. It's just that they're starting after the 1970 and 80 period, which was a historic low period for hurricanes. So if you start from that period, you can see an upward trend. But when you go back to looking at it from the early 1900s, you can see there's been no trend. On the right, you can see the hurricane frequency supposedly on the rise. You can see that's a consequence of them not factoring in for better detection methods. We've just gotten so much better at detecting hurricanes, thanks to satellite data. There is zero chance that the reporters who wrote these stories, the people that created these graphs, did not know that there was a data going back to the early 20th century or that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration explicitly warns that you have to account for better detection methods. There is a prediction by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration that there will be an increase of hurricane intensity by 5% in the future, but they also say that there will be a 25% decline in hurricanes. It's not that we're going to get more intense hurricanes, they predict, but rather that the relative frequency of intense hurricanes will go up because the overall frequency of hurricanes will go down at a greater rate.